I posted a picture of Baltic Birds plywood on Instagram yesterday and it got a big response so I thought I'd make a quick video about Baltic Birch plywood and why I'm using it for this project. This is going to be a desk, I'm calling it a modern desk. It has that uh, kind of mid-century modern, Danish modern feel to it. It's going to sit on top of hairpin legs and I want to give a shout out to DIY hairpin legs because they did send these to me. They're 25 inches tall, the desk is 5 and that gives you that 30 inch height which is what most tables and desks are. So the reason why I chose Baltic Birch Plywood for this project is because Baltic Birch Plywood has multiple veneers or plies to make up that three quarters of an inch and it's also all hard wood so it's all birch which gives it a really uh, strong holding power for nails and screws. So when I'm attaching the legs to the bottom of the desk they're going, the, the legs will get a really good purchase and I won't have to worry about them possibly ripping out of the desk. So that was one of the main reasons why I went with Baltic Birch Plywood for this project. Now, the other reason is Baltic Birch Plywood is much heavier than your standard Birch Plywood. Standard Birch Plywood, if you're talking about good Birch Plywood, like the, the Garnica Plywood that I use, has a poplar core which is also considered a hardwood, but it's not nearly as dense or heavy as birch. So the, the plus for the, for the uh, Baltic birch or the birch core is that it is heavy and sometimes that can be a minus. But for this project, I wanted it to be heavy because I felt like the, uh, the desk would just feel much more substantial if it was a couple of pounds heavier than using standard plywood. So there's a couple of reasons why I chose uh, Baltic Birch plywood for this project. Uh, one thing, if you're not familiar with Baltic Birch plywood, it's Baltic Birch plywood is sold in 5x5 five five foot sheets as opposed to your standard 4x8 sheets with most plywood. There are different measurements you can get plywood, but if you're ordering Baltic Birch plywood, because it's usually a special order from your lumber yard, uh, you're going to or just expect that it'll be five by five feet and not four by eight feet. So if you're designing a project, keep that in mind. Um, I definitely would not choose Baltic birch plywood if I were building a lot of bookcases because then the weight would get uh, incredibly heavy and also you're sort of limited to that five foot length. Although I think you can get 10 foot, five by 10 foot, but I've, I've never done that. So um, anyway, a little bit about this desk. This is going to be my first project for Maker's Mob, and if you're not familiar with Maker's Mob, it is basically the Maker's School designed by Jesse DeGeese, better known as the Samurai Carpenter and the Samurai Carpenter team. And I'm very proud and happy to be part of the, uh, what I consider a kind of an all-star lineup with Jimmy DiResta, April Wilkinson, and Mike Montgomery and of course Jesse and so uh, this will be the first project it this project I think is going up on the Makers Mob site probably towards the end or middle of January and a more abbreviated version will go on my channel uh, probably just before it goes live on the site so uh, I hope that you'll check that out and for more about it here's the man himself the Samurai Carpenter John Peters, welcome to the Maker's Mob. So thankful that you have decided to join us on this adventure. And uh, just the way that you share information and just all the practical, awesome stuff that you build, you were truly, <laughs> you're cut out for this line of work. And I am especially excited uh, to learn more about just the artistic side of your work and painting. And you know, hopefully you can teach me how to do some of that stuff because I've always wanted to do that and just been a little too intimidated to pick up the brush but yeah for you guys that are watching John's channel make sure that you click the link down below or up in the corner get on the wait list so that you are notified as soon as John Peter's school goes live because he has so much awesome stuff to share as you all obviously already know and not only will you have access to all John's stuff you'll have the opportunity to access all my stuff as well as well as all the other makers that are going to be joining the mob in this coming year 2019 okay you do not want to miss out on this maker revolution so thanks again, John, for joining the Maker's Mob. I look forward to connecting with you as well as all your school members inside the Maker's Mob. Until then, guys, time out.